Why do some of the members of the Kenya Defense Forces KDF feel as if they own the country? It has been a long standing issue where some of these KDF personnel hold themselves in such high regard as military officers that they've been known to unjustly punish civilians simply because they yield the power to do so. Now, this sense of pride extends to the point where they view Kenya police officers as mere civilians, unworthy of being labeled as security personnel. Actually, if a KDF officer catches you on the wrong side, I'm pretty sure you are expected to comply with their demands. And I tell you, they will turn your life into a living hell once they pounce on you. But just how powerful and unshakable are the KDF? Should the Kenya police continue to yield to them? Now, this debate was put to rest recently after a clash between KDF officers and traffic police officers in Lodwa. Now, the altercation started when KDF members en route to fetch water at Moy Gardens encountered traffic officers manning a roadblock near Turkana University College. While there is typically that unity among security personnel whenever they meet, the KDF officers seemed to have different intentions. In a display of superiority, they ordered a police officer to kneel down, which the officer refused. <laughs> In response out of anger, a KDF officer disarmed this police officer who refused to kneel down and immediately demanded the officer to pick up the same weapon that he was disarmed at Lotororei camp in Kanam Kemer Ward, the base of the army unit. Now the soldiers then fired shots in the air as they departed, seemingly triumphant. Now this incident caught the attention of other police officers who went and intervened, leading to the arrest of the 4 KDF soldiers at Moy Gardens. However, tensions escalated when more than 10 armed KDF officers chanting war slogans stormed the Lodwa police station attempting to free their colleagues. However, their attempts were thwarted by the Kenya police officers who were already prepared to face off the KDF members. Now the detained KDF officers who refuse to disclose their identities are currently held in a police custody awaiting charges of robbery with violence. And I'm telling you, I really don't know how this case will end. But at the end of the day, I believe 
each security body that is the Kenya police and the KDF, they already have their own roles in this country. The Kenya uh, police uh, officers are meant to run the internal securities in the country. While the KDF members, they are supposed to run the external security in the country. Hii mambo ya kufika mahali mna feel you are the owner ama you are more superior than the other. I really don't know where it came from. Because at the end of the, at the day, this is a symbiosis type of relationship. We all need each other. The Kenya police officers need the KDF because the KDF are meant to protect external enemies. And the KDF also need the Kenya police officers to keep security uh, within the country. Ndo upia wawa silemewe. So you see it's a symbiosis type of relationship. Anyway, what are your thoughts about all this drama? Leave your uh, your, your Karim Seme drama. Leave your thoughts on a comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's be next time. Bye-bye.